No matter which community you are in, collectors around the world dream of obtaining that one big item in their space. Whether it be a famous painting like the Mona Lisa, a vintage car such as the 1967 Corvette, or of course something we're more familiar with, a rare trading card, these items hold significant nostalgic or collectible value to the people who chase them. Something that makes the trading card world unique to other collectibles, however, is that a lot of the desired cards are obtained by way of a booster pack and can thus be acquired cheaper than the cost of the item itself, if you get lucky and pull one. Because these multi-thousand dollar cards can be pulled from much cheaper packs, the moment when one lucky son of a gun pulls one are absolutely magical. A couple of examples of this in popular card games such as Magic the Gathering and Pokemon include this legendary Black Lotus pull by Open Boosters. And then the other one is, <sighs> holy boosh! <laughs> And this Charizard pulled by Leonhardt. No way. Oh my God. Now Yu-Gi-Oh also has grails to be pulled, and it has happened a couple of times. First by the old school expert back in 2013. Whoa, what the hell? Are you Whoa. kidding me? And later again by Yu-Gi-Oh old school in 2018. And holy, oh my, this is, what is, what is wrong with this box? A blue eyes white dragon. Holy sh in the last pack. But since these pulls, there hasn't been much luck. And it hasn't been for lack of trying. I personally have opened over three boxes worth in that time, but have yet to get lucky. Who knows? Every blue eyes in existence may have already been pulled, or there just aren't enough boxes being opened on camera for us to see it ever happen again. Or so I thought. Now, I may not have expected to see a blue eyes pulled from a box again, but there is something I knew that I could count on my blue eyes pulling from a box. A delicious meal from Factor. Okay, I don't have blue eyes, but it fit better if I said I had blue eyes, okay? It just makes more sense. Though I've not yet pulled a blue eyes myself, Factor is helping me toward that goal by saving me time during each meal. No more going out to the grocery store or a restaurant when I should be grinding trying to pull a first edition blue eyes. Take flight, blue eyes, white dragon rise! Factor delivers nutritious food fast. Not only does it arrive to your doorstep quickly, the meals themselves are ready in two minutes or less. And after you're done with your two minute meal, you don't even have to bother with cleanup because there is none. I personally love using factor because of my busy schedule. Having food delivered that is ready quickly saves me a massive amount of time and it still tastes great. I recently had a factor meal that was absolutely delicious. If this sounds like something you are interested in, go to the link in the description and get 50% off your first factor 75 box plus free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots per order with an active subscription. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. On February 2nd, 2024, I got a message on Instagram from a guy asking about a Legend of Blue Eyes box that he bought. He had some questions about its authenticity, which I tried to help verify the best I could, but it can be difficult over pictures and things like that. After a few messages back and forth over the next few days, he was confident enough in the box being real to open it. And what happened, you'll just have to see. I was able to record an interview with him shortly after to capture his feelings about the experience and to show you guys what happened. First of all, what's your name? Okay, uh, I'm Quentin, Quentin Gerard in France. All right, and, and that's the second question. You're, you're, where are you from? So I guess you're from France? Uh, yes, from France, but in Lyon, Lyon in France. I feel like I don't see a lot of French collectors, to be honest, which is, so that was pretty interesting when I thought you might, like, I wasn't 100% sure, but I thought you said you were from France. And I was like, that's pretty cool, actually, because I know a lot of German collectors but not so uh, yeah. many French. So when you said that, I was like, that's pretty interesting, actually. Are there a lot of collectors around you? We have uh, other collection, uh, collector. Yeah, we have. Uh, uh, but uh, it's it's not same like US or England. Yeah. We have not a, a real market. Right so. now, uh, French people doesn't want to, to put some money in the Yu-Gi-Oh markets. Yes. I think that a lot of people are feeling like that right now. So that that is that might translate over pretty soon. So. But it's cool to see that you're still like grabbing this cool stuff. So why did you even start into Yu-Gi-Oh collecting? Was it like recent or was it like a childhood thing that you got back into or have you always been into it? My passion began when I was uh, a children, you know, uh, I begin my big collection uh, since one year. I begin with um, LOB French box. Oh, yeah. Uh, after I do um, Elemental Energy OB first after uh, cybernetic revolution and for finish uh, lob first i buy one lob first uh science uh, four or five months ago a wavy box and uh, it was a fake oh no okay <laughs> there's a lot to unpack there oh my goodness okay no, okay I, I, I open. <laughs> we gotta come back to the fake but but you said uh you thought that you that you think that the english is the best why do you think that since you are from france 
because the print is better. Il y a plus de possibilités, right. qu'il y a plus de... There, there is more possibility and uh, if you want to sell it back, it's uh, more easy because uh, anyone uh, want to buy US cards, but if you buy French cards, it's only to sell in France, you know? Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, yeah, that makes sense because I feel like if you're not from the US or whatever, people like to open those US boxes because they know if they do open them and get something, the US people will be like interested in it, you know? And yeah. and I guess it was one of the, the earliest like prints was the US print or whatever. So. Very cool, but we got to get into the fake. So you got a fake box at some point. And that's why you messaged me, I guess, to say, is this one real? <laughs> because you had already had a fake box. <laughs> uh, I was scary yeah, of scary opening. Uh, I cut, but in the original video, I cry, I cry man. <laughs> when I see it's a real booster, I cry, man. Oh. I was, oh. How much did yeah. you, uh, how much did you spend on that fake one? And did you get a refund or anything? Fake one, wavy. Yeah, uh, so wavy fake one. 50k. Oh, oh man. 15, no, no, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Oh, okay, sorry. okay, okay. Oh, I was like, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. They were at 1.50k, so I didn't know if it was back then. But uh, 15, yes, yes, yes. But for okay. me, 15 was a lot. That is a lot. Right. Yeah, that's a lot. And so I guess you, did you get any money back or what? Where'd you buy it from? Facebook. You know, a Facebook, but the the seller didn't know that. Yes, it was a the fake. seller didn't know was it was so a fake they because got scammed has, at some point. He has the box since twenty years. For me, twenty years ago, don't exist a fake box. It's not possible. Yeah, those uh, those fakes actually date back pretty far, which makes them really scary. Because like, there's one yeah. good. Have you have you found the way to tell yet? The big the big way to tell they're fake. Yes, yes. I see. You know the K and O. Yeah, if they're tu if the O and the N are touching right there, yes. that's always a fake. It's their one mistake. It looks great other than that. It's such it's a sweet. weird way, but it's always right. So yeah. from now on, if you if you're watching the video and you ever want to yeah. buy LOB like this guy or me, then make sure you check if it's a wavy box that the O and the N and the Konami logo are not touching. Because if they're touching at all, it's a fake. So you got the fake box. Did that discourage you from buying another box at any point? For real, I don't want to buy a new box. Because yeah. for me, uh, no, it's not possible. It's too stressful. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I don't sleep, man. <laughs> it's not possible. Yeah. Uh, but I see this box. Every condition was for I buy this box. And I see this box, glossy box, I open, with a default. Uh, she has a little scratch. So his price was a little uh, lower, lowest. Yeah. It was from a Maggi shop uh, in Japan. Yes, Maggi oh. shop in Japan. It was a uh, better condition. And when I, <laughs> in reception, I see everything. KO, it was good, don't touch. When and I no, see... no one eat, nothing weird this time. So you felt a lot better. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> But I don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, you sent me all those messages like, oh, does this look real? I was like, it looks pretty good to me from what I can tell. I mean, I can never like verify from that far, but. Everything was good. How much did you get this one for? Are you comfortable ta telling how much it was? Yes, 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 of course, no problem. 12. 12K. 12,000, that's really good. That's yeah. really good. Okay. It's I, I paid in PayPal, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's a really good deal. Especially, I mean, the market's coming down, but even then, you don't see glossy like for that cheap these days. Yeah. So that's still really good. The market is currently really, really down. So, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't know why. Because it's what, uh, because it's the economy in the world. <laughs> yes, but yeah. The yeah. I think awesome. it might, it's like real life stuff coming in, but it does make it where like you could do something like a LOB first said box and you're not going to like die doing it. So it's like, you know, you've got a chance. Because if it's still 50k, like I, I don't know if I could open one at 50k, like that's just so yeah, much. No, but 12k, yeah. it's like, well, you know, like maybe if I pull the blue eyes, maybe, you know, I got yeah. potential to pull something big or whatever. Okay, you've kind of elaborated a little bit on this, but why did you buy a box like this and why did you spend like twelve thousand dollars to open a Yu-Gi-Oh box? Because I it's my job since one year, and in France, we don't have um retro box, we don't have a lobby, we don't have Elemental energy, we don't have jigs box, you know, yeah. it's very, very difficult. And me, I love opening this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's difficult, but I find, uh, I find a seller, uh, no, a buyer, sorry. I sold in advance for yeah. opening in live, you know? Yeah. And it's just, I, I love that. Yeah. Elemental energy, LOB box, for me, it's the best. I can't do better. No, it's good. <laughs> it's just fun. Like, I can relate. It's fun. It's, it's it's a thrill, too, when it's the big, like, old stuff. You're like, I've never opened this before, you know? So it's 
Yeah, I, I can relate with that for sure. Yes. Now, now that we've kind of talked about what you wanted and people probably already know, but let can you show everybody what you pulled? You pulled it pretty late in the box and then you pulled Dark Magician. Was that the last pack? Yes. Uh, you you know what? Uh, I beginning, I sold every pack, you know, the 24. Yeah. I wait the 24 packs, Yeah. but the wait wasn't good, you know? Right. I, the first I open, it's a fake. Yeah. <laughs> So the other buyers say, no, 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 you don't open. <laughs> yeah. Only one say, yes, I open, I uh, I begin with the top all, the worst, maybe the worst. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the third pack, I open fake, uh, fail, fail. Yeah. So in three pack, I have one super. It's difficult in France to say open with this is two just, fails. This is just like when I got my red eyes. I was weighing them and getting nothing too. Weighing glossy, yeah. I tell people all the time, weighing glossy is just, you never know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it sounds like it didn't work for you either. Me, I, I was, for me, huh? I'm, I was so deçu. Incomfortable because, yes. uh, you know, there is some uh, customers and they paid for it and you know you wait and you you don't got uh like uh, a hit how many total packs did you have to to open to get to all the foils or did you open all the foils uh no uh, i opened three supers uh one secret two ultra and uh, one super is uh is leaving the yes um, one super is uh is in the box no problem yeah. Yeah, yeah no 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 worry. at that point it's just like it's whatever yeah no big deal but the two last hits was Blue eyes and dark magician. Ça peut être rien du tout, hein, mais. Oh, oh mon dieu! Oh! Seigneur dieu! Un monstre à dark magician? Non. Le dark magician! Mais c'est pas possible! Mais c'est pas possible! That is absolutely crazy. So, I was going to ask what you do with them next, but it looks like they've already been graded. So, can you show us the grades? Ah, yes. Yes, I can show you. So uh, I chose the PSA for try on, okay? Because it's the choice of the buyer. So I choose uh, other. He chose CCC grading, it's yes. a French company. Wow. Oh, wow. What are those subgrades? Centering, 8.5, because every card has- 8.5 uh, centering. A bad centering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have a surprise for Dark Magician. Yeah. Okay. So bad centering, but uh, corner turn, edge, uh, 9.5 and so uh, so uh, yeah. 9.5 yeah but wow so it's dark, really it's... solid besides the centering it's really good yeah. besides that yeah, it's just the centering i've had the same issue with glossy all of mine have been off centered every time i pull a glossy card it's off centered and uh, for the dark I, I have two problem i have a little scratch at the back oh <laughs> no what a bummer it, it's from uh Ozo card yeah it's from <laughs> Ozo card in the booster so it's um it's a problem of the Packaging. it's like the printing problem you know because yeah. it's in the booster yeah. so it's okay i think it's yeah. with the time uh but i have a nine with off center yeah <laughs> oh see yeah yes oh wow look here <laughs> Man, it's that thing is so off center. It's actually kind of cool, actually. <laughs> it's crazy to get uh, off center because if uh, he he didn't get uh, off center, it was like eight point five. But yeah. because of the off center, yes. it saved it. Nine. Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. So what happened was you sold the pack to buyers, and then they pulled these, and you were, and you bought them, and then graded them. Is that what happened? Yes. I like it. I like it. Okay. Well, very awesome. Where can people find you? Uh, like on social media or anything? I, do you want your Instagram or what? Thank. Yes. I, I'm not YouTuber. <laughs> it's sure. I just rake for pleasure, for fun, for yeah. guys. Tea, no problem. But you see, it's bad quality. <laughs> it's just the That's opening. okay. It's all about the fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's with, it's with the fun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's on my Instagram. Instagram. Because I, uh, I box break. Uh, a lot of uh, elemental energy, hobby yeah. box, you know, my product is on Instagram. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Uh, this is a super exciting event because it's not every day this happens. And, you know, it, even in France, if they don't care, we care over here. I think that's pretty awesome that you guys did that. Amazing. Yeah. It's crazy. Thanks, Thanks for your video. Thanks for for all, man. It's well, thank amazing. you guys so much. This has been super fun. I hope that uh, any future box breaks go super well. I mean, you can't really top it, so I don't know what you're going to do from here. But I've been told the same thing, so who knows? You just keep going. <laughs>
Amazing. This was a legendary moment. After 22 years, people around the world are still pulling first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon, the Holy Grail of Yu-Gi-Oh! pulls, and this guy also got the Dark Magician, so what an amazing box. And absolutely nothing beats the reaction when you pull these insane cards. Make sure to thank Quentin in the comments for allowing me to record an interview with him and for the awesome moment he provided for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And he has a channel as well, so I'm going to link that down below so you guys can go watch that video and any other videos he may put out. And if you enjoyed my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Maybe one day I will finally pull one myself, or maybe it'll be you. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Ananda Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.